Well, COVID infections on the rise in nursing homes and senior care centers across Onondaga County. More than 80 people are being treated for the virus. That's the highest number of positive cases recently reported. News Channel Line's Adrian Smith explains why local leaders are hoping this is only a short-term problem. There's been a slight decline in COVID cases across Onondaga County, but recent infections reported in nursing homes and senior care facilities is something the county executive says we need to keep an eye on. That's the highest number of senior facility cases we've seen week over week uh, in a period of time. At last check, 83 people at nursing homes across the county have coronavirus. Loretta, one of the largest facilities in central New York, has 28 residents that are infected. Bishop Rehabilitation and Nursing in Syracuse says 16 of its residents are currently being treated within their designated COVID unit. One is a bad number. 83 is a really bad number, and we're uh, keeping a close eye on nursing home uh, cases. Omicron spreads really fast. It, this is to be expected in congregate care facilities. I think the Department of Health is doing what it can to make sure that no one comes into a facility without a test and to uh, really be monitoring the situation. To help find pockets of the virus, 35,000 rapid tests are being distributed to Onondaga County nursing homes and senior care facilities this week. But Senator May says another thing facilities need to monitor, visits from loved ones. I think we have to let nursing homes have some discretion in this area. If they've got a real outbreak in one nursing home, then they need to do whatever they need to do to to make sure it doesn't spread. And to keep your loved ones safe. Adrian Smith, News Channel 9.